dozens of business owners faced with another hardship in what has already been a nightmare of a year. Kyle Horan spoke to some who are trying to process this morning's explosion. And it has been a long day for Nashville that started early this morning. Aaron Cantrell has a look at how this bombing unfolded. At least 41 buildings were damaged by this morning's explosion, though many owners aren't sure to what extent. Well, our Sky 5 video shows extensive damage to the buildings and the street. News Channel 5's Kyle Horan joins us now. And Kyle, I know many business and property owners are just left guessing what's going to happen now. Because many of them haven't even been able to get close enough to check out their buildings and see how much damage there is. But we know the number of buildings that were damaged is massive. And blocks away, buildings were hit by some of the shrapnel and debris from that explosion. We talked to the owner of one tattoo parlor today who says he fears the worst because P. Gibson knows the RV exploded right next to his business. Pride and Glory Tattoos. That's at 172 2nd Avenue North. He hasn't been able to get to the business. He tried early this morning, but was turned away by all of the roadblocks. He said learning about what happened was frustrating as he felt helpless. Others agreed, such as an owner of a boutique from downtown who told me her business was also right by the RV. She's not sure how bad the damage is. Gibson says it was a lot of uncertainty. About 730, I woke up and heard there was an explosion downtown and I immediately hopped in the car and and came down and couldn't get anywhere. I talked to a couple of police officers. They told me there's not much they can do right now. Um, I tried to get around, get around, try to look and see what was going on. I, you know, I just saw black and smoke and just knew it wasn't good. Yeah, we saw numerous windows getting blown out, including at Acme Feed and Seed. We know that other businesses were damaged, such as a dessert restaurant, a law office, just to name a few 41 buildings, like they said earlier.